So guys, guess which camera, camera this is. I just bought the Sony FDR X3000. Uh, I sold my Osmo Action, my GoPros, and just wanted to test this camera. I watch it a lot uh, on YouTube and it seems to be pretty good. I'm filming in 1080p, 60 frames. Look at all the snow. Beautiful. Really nice. This camera is from uh, 2016. It's pretty old. But uh, one big benefit of this camera is that you have uh, optical image stabilization instead of digital, which I don't like because you get the crop. On this camera you get the full image and um, the quality seems pretty good. Um, I'm looking forward to listen to how the audio is. but. Uh, I haven't tested this camera yet, so this is my first attempt. Uh, I don't want to film in 4K, I want to test the 1080p and film in 60 frames because you get more smooth footage out of it. But the weather is really beautiful. So it's going to be really fun to test this camera, just to see how the stabilization is. Everything is set to auto today. Um, and I really don't know how the audio is or anything, so just want to test it out. Look at this beautiful nature. And the sun. Let's see how the camera reacts to the sun. Really nice. It's minus uh, five degrees. Here now, um, in the night we drop down to minus 10, so uh, yeah, it's pretty cold, but it's really nice. No wind at all, so look at this, we have a cabin, we have to go down and check it out. Cabin in Norway. We don't always make it to go inside because of and stuff like that here. Yeah. Not that nice. But this is all woodshed I used. Very nice. Uh, it's gonna be fun to see how the quality of the video is. 1080p, 60 frames. Nice one. Yeah, it's nice. 
not knowing where the cabin is. So this is a old cabin, uh, abandoned and uh, near my home place. Uh, if we used to live here, I don't know. It's not that old. This one, maybe from the 60s. But you don't have any access with uh, with a car here, so you have to walk. But uh, yeah, this is a really small wood cabin in Norway. Yeah, looks. Yeah. And I know that my kids they are um, go skiing near here, but uh, nobody dare to go close to this cabin because they think it's haunted. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is a really scary place. For them, especially in the night. Always the stabilization now. Working on uneven ground, snow, and stuff like that. And how is the audio? I'm talking not that loud, so yeah. Try another way. I've never walked here before. It looks like people have walked this way. So let's see. Yeah, as you can see, the weather is really nice. And how is the audio? Is it still any good? Let's walk here. It's so nice. It's gonna be fun to see what uh, what Sony gonna do next time. Are they gonna make a new action camera, or are they still gonna stick to this one? I think they have one more model, the RX something. It's a small one. I really don't know how that is. It seems really pretty good, but I really enjoy the the form of this action camera. It seems it's small and tiny and I think it's, uh, it's uh, splash proof and not uh, waterproof but you can with the travel kit that I got you have a on the water case or something like that but you're missing the audio then let's go this way Winter. It's nice. Really beautiful. Bunch of snow. Not that much, but and that seems to be a little bit wet here. And uh, I live on the west coast of Norway. We don't get so much snow here. Uh, it's more snow in north of Norway but um, on the west coast we get a lot of get a lot of uh, rain and freeze yeah it's uh, the roads are pretty icy all winter through so but this is really beautiful this is not normal here all this snow I really hope the image is uh, good, so I can use this camera. I bought it for 150 US dollar. That's really cheap uh, because this was uh, what you can say. Uh, it was uh, they had this one in the shop, uh, and uh, they want to get uh, rid of all the Sony action cam. So I got this one really cheap. It's bought in Norway. Uh, I see this one uh, in Norway you have to pay about five or six hundred dollars for this one. So this was a really good deal. Uh, and I got it with the uh, uh, active pack or whatever. So uh, yeah. 
But uh, I think the image is uh, what I saw on YouTube. It looks pretty good. This is so beautiful. Look at that view. Nice. But I really can't wait for summer to come. But uh, as long as the weather is like this, then it's beautiful. When it starts snowing and raining and yeah, blowing, then it's terrible. So I think I'm gonna head back home now. I don't have time to fly my drone today, but I'm gonna do that another day. Yeah, so let's head back home. Thank you so much for watching. See you. And remember to subscribe. Drone in nature. Bye bye.